How to create a zip file in a Jenkins pipeline. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.440.1. Attached to this controller, I have a Linux-based agent. Now let's go ahead and set up our job to check if that agent has zip installed on it. So we'll go into our zip job, click on configure. What I have set up here is we're going to run zip dash dash version and also zip info dash dash version. We'll be using zip info later on in the video. So let's go ahead and click on save and click on build now. Now what we can see here is the job failed, but let's take a look at the output of the job. We can see for zip version, we received back zip.3.0, but also we received back for zip info dash dash version. It didn't understand what dash dash version was. It still gave us back the version zip info 3.0. So we're good on both zip info and zip. Let's go ahead and make the changes to our job to create the zip file. So we'll go back into zip. First off, let's go ahead and get rid of our version checks. And what we're going to do is first, we're going to create a file that we're going to zip up. So we're going to say echo hello to test.txt. Next, let's go ahead and create the zip file. So we'll say zip my zip file.zip, and we're going to go ahead and pass in test.txt. So the only file going into our zip file is our test.txt file. Next up, let's see what happens in the directory. We'll say LSL. Now, in fact, let's go ahead and do an LSL to begin with here. So we'll create the file, make sure the file's there. We're going to zip it up. Afterwards, we should expect to see still the file and the zip file. And then finally, let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside the zip file. And the way that we'll do that is we'll use zip info and my zip file.zip. Let's go ahead and click on save and click on build now. If we take a look at the output of two, we go ahead and create our file, that's our echo hello. We can see that the test.txt file was created. Next, we create our zip file, passing in test.txt. We added one file. Now that we take a look inside of our workspace directory, we see our test text along with the new file, my zip file zip. And then when we run zip info against my zip file zip, we can see that within that file is our test.txt. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.